there's a big to be about guns nowadays, isn't there? It's the hot topic. Columbine, Virginia Tech, Sandy Hook. Oh my. It's crazy, man. You can get shot anywhere now. Elementary school, high school, college, church, the supermarket, McDonald's, the movie theater, anywhere and everywhere. That's right, baby. You ain't safe nowhere no more. We need to get rid of guns. No, we need more guns. No, we need to control guns. More guns, less guns, no guns, controlled guns. Guns, 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 guns. An interesting d d debate, to be sure. But, unfortunately, it's completely short-sighted. So go ahead and have fun with it while you can. Because whether you realize it or not, this will be the last hurrah of the guns. Huh? What? No way. Oh yeah, can't be. That's right, baby. I hate to be the one to break it to you. But very soon, guns are gonna be completely obsolete. No way. That's crazy. Impossible. Sorry, Charlie. Your gun is going to become completely obsolete. What? Did you think the gun was going to remain the weapon of choice forever? Is that what you thought? Were you sincerely thinking and believing that there's never going to be any technology produced that will trump the gun? You're living in the past, baby. Just think of how long ago guns were created. This ain't the Wild West no more. And know that by the technology standards of our coming future, the gun ain't none but an old, outdated, archaic relic. Go ahead and believe otherwise if you want. You can ignore the writing on the wall to your own peril. Not to say that a gun won't always be a handy tool in certain situations. But let me tell you, if a gun is the only thing standing between you and a tyrannical government, you're in for a big surprise. A big surprise. And what is it that they keep saying? Guns don't kill people. People kill people. Isn't that right? In much the same way that if they need to get past your gun, they don't need to do anything about your gun. The only thing they have to figure out is a way to render the person wielding that gun helpless. Then it's checkmate game over. Stands to reason, doesn't it? After all, what good is a gun if the person possessing the gun is too sick to operate it? 
you want to dismiss this notion as crazy, then go ahead. They're working on it right now. You want to relegate this all to some idea of science fiction, go ahead. But they're working on it right now. Why do you think the government is always jocking technology? Why do you think they're always keeping a close eye on scientists and inventors and often bullying them into working for them? That's right, baby. They want to be the first ones to get their hands on the cutting edge toys. Sound waves, microwaves, electromagnetic waves, stuff you've never heard of waves. It's just a matter of time, baby. And then where will you be? Prone. Rolled up in a ball on the floor. As hapless and helpless as a baby chicken. Whimpering and shivering and quivering in the fetal position. As the troopers storm in. Shit. You'll be too physically sick and mentally confused to even walk, much less operate a gun. And even if you did manage to get a shot off, what good would it do if it's only hitting a force field shield? I know, I know. Go ahead and laugh. Laugh like they did when they laughed at Dick Tracy's GPS gizmo watch back in the 40s. Laugh like they laughed at Captain Kirk with his cell phone and Skype sessions back in the 60s. Believe me, if man can imagine it, man can make it. It's just a matter of time. And what I'm talking about is already in the works. Being tested and perfected. You'd be surprised if you knew to what extent that the technologies of science fiction became non-fiction. So go ahead and arm yourself to the teeth. Stock up on gunpowder and projectiles. Round point, hollow point, single action, double action, semi-automatic, fully automatic. It ain't gonna make a difference. And never mind trying to hole up in a sniper's nest. Because you're going to be up against technologies that can be pointed in just a general vicinity. And everything within a five mile radius will be rendered helpless. You better believe it, baby. And I know many of you will quibble over the technicalities, but trust me. They'll work out all the snags. They'll troubleshoot every aspect of it until it is perfected. They'll figure out a way to render you helpless and keep you that way until you can be extracted. That is, if they even want you alive. So the question becomes, what are you going to do about it, huh? fuck are you gonna do about it, bitch? What are you gonna do to make sure that these kinds of technologies do not fall into the hands of governments and militaries alone? What's that you say? You'd rather die on your feet than to live on your knees? Well, get used to it, dipshit. One press of a button and you won't even be able to stand on your feet. You are going to go down on your hands and knees where you belong. That's right, numbnuts. On your hands and knees. The perfect position. A position from which you will easily be able to perform fellatio on the power cock. 
a position from which the choice of anal or vaginal rape for your owner can easily be made, depending on your gender and the mood and whim of your master. You better recognize.